if you have aspirations for your wildlife film to kind of make it big and to be shown on some of these platforms, even if it's being picked up later, I would say it was a pretty sensible idea to consider doing an HDR. People choose aspect ratios, you know, as to the best way to frame the film that they're they're telling, right? And, you know, you choose a 249 or a 4 by 3 depending on, you know, what the creative ambition of the film is and, you know, where your images are going to sit in that frame. And I'd say if you're you know, if you're thinking at the inception of a project about those kind of things, then you should also be thinking, you know, at, uh, you know, about HDR as a tool that is equal to, you know, um, aspect ratio, you know, just as a comparison. With the clients that Tom and I work for, there it is a requirement on many things that they do. And so you definitely need to address it if that's your if if that's your ambition is to put it onto one of those streaming services or one of the major clients then you need to address it early on um and um and be aware of it in the natural world sphere any wildlife filmmaker who wants the natural world to be the best experience possible for their audience bearing in mind that they're watching it through a screen then i think the tool is a really good one and one that you should think about seriously